this intimate, serious, committed to excellence, because it's groups like this, man, that get the most done. So th this is going to be a great, great weekend. Oh, it's going to be a great day. I'm sorry, not even a weekend. It's going to be a day. But if you don't leave here knowing it, it's because you didn't ask it. So if there's an area in your life that you're having issues with, I guarantee somebody here has an answer that's going to help you. So as much as I want it to be entertaining, and it's very important that it is, what's even more important, that something today is life-changing, that you take something back and you start implementing it on Monday. So, first person up. The individual comes in, I look out here in the waiting room, if there's a new face, I say, you must be Mary Smith. Yes, that's me. Come on in. I sit him in the office in there. <clears throat> This is the first thing they're going to read. <clears throat> Get their attention. Now, when I start out, I say, we find that most people who come to a chiropractor's office don't know what chiropractors are or what they fit, what they do. Most people have a vague idea that chiropractic is a way to get rid of a backache or a sore neck or a sore shoulder. And while it may be true that those things go away in the chiropractic year, that is never a rational reason to visit a chiropractor. Chiropractic's not about your sickness, your disease. Chiropractic's not the treatment of anything. Chiropractic is all about living longer and living better, about the quality and quantity of your life. That gets their attention. That makes them sit up and say, oh, I thought I was going to have some talk about the mechanics of a backache. That's not what this guy's going to talk about. He's going to talk about the quality and quantity of my life. Sounds like it might be important. I think I'll listen. Get their attention. Establish innate intelligence. I call it life force. Life force is a more flexible word when you're when you're lecturing lay people, I think. But you could use them all obviously they are interchangeable. <clears throat> you're gonna build a nervous system, obviously and show how it's an essential part of creation. And talk about the egg and the sperm coming together, splitting into two cells, four cells, six cells, two thousand cells, eventually producing the notochord, ultimately producing the nervous system. And then at the end of those nerves occur small buds that become future glands, organs, and tissues. You then show the body growing under the direction of innate intelligence over the central nervous system. Finally, the spinal bones grow, and you wrap them around the spinal cord, and then you demonstrate a vertebral subluxation. What I really like is take a small three-section spine, stick their pinky into the intervertebral foramen, and twist it. It's an object lesson. It'll pinch their pinky and say, I suppose I'll leave your pinky in there for three or four days, or a month, or a year. It's gonna happen. Well, it's gonna get all red and swollen and inflamed. And later on, it begins to atrophy. It to wither and die. In every case, it certainly isn't working right. Well, the same thing happens to your spinal nerves. When a vertebral subluxation occurs, it causes those nerves to diminish in function. When they don't work right, guess what? Whatever they control doesn't work right. Simple, hard bone, soft nerve. <clears throat> now we we talk about causes of vertebral subluxation. It started there at that time. Ding, 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 ding. Hi, Dr. Donofrio. Hi, I got a terrible backache. Could I come down and see you right away? No, I have no time to see you this week. I can see you maybe next week. Now what did that do? What that did was discourage the symptomatic patient. Word started getting around, don't call that guy if you want fast care. So this business of people who post in their ads, new patient seen the first day, 
Okay, I was going exactly counter to that. For a purpose. The less of that I had, the happier I was. And the practice existed to make me happy. This was always a, no two ways about it. Ding, ding, ding. Hi, we'd like to bring our family in to get our spines checked. That takes five, six, seven, eight years. But it will happen. One day somebody will call you. Well, how come you're calling me? What you, what you want? Oh, I just want to get my family spine checked. You get your orientation on a regular basis. Everybody comes in, you don't take care of anybody without an orientation. And you tell them what chiropractic is. And eventually they'll start telling other people, look, you want to go to my guy, he's great. But don't call him up when you're hurting. Because he won't have time for you. You call him now. You get him to regular care and keep your spine healthy. That's their interpretation of what they said. And before you know it, people start calling you and say, yeah, I just want to get out of here. I want to, I want to uh, uh, get my, my dibs in on a chiropractor.